So question 11 and we're on to a binomial expansion. We want the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 minus x over 16 to the power of 9. Okay so for part a we're going to do uh, first of all 9 choose 0 of 2 to the power of 9 and then minus x over 16 to the power of 0. It may seem ridiculous that I write that down even though it's going to disappear but I have a set way of writing these things out so that I don't forget to do anything and that is to write down the permutation on the front to write down the first term and then the second term and then always these two indices will add up to make the top value and this will always be my second indice so the next one I'm going to write down is 9 choose 1 that's then going to be then 2 to the power of 8 minus x over 16 to the power of 1 and then 2 to the power of sorry 9 choose 2 2 to the power of 7 and minus x over 16 all to the power of 2 and this is going to give me in ascending powers of x the first three terms so there we have the first three terms 1 2 3 now we know that this would continue so I'm just going to write dot 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 on for completeness and move on down my page now working these out individually 9 choose 0 is just 1 2 to the power of 9 is 512 and anything raised to the power 0 is just 1. The next part I'm going to say 9 choose 1 that's 9. 2 to the power of 8 is going to be 256. Now here I'm going to deal with the negative. I've got this to the power of 1 so that is going to be negative so I'm going to pop that at the front and then that's just going to leave me in here with x over 16. 9 choose 2 which is 36 times by 2 to the power of 7 which is 128. Now this time the x is squared so that negative is going to disappear so that's going to be a plus. So that's going to be times by x squared all over 256. Now I can resort to my calculator to then work out these final values. Probably not for the first one though because I can do that in my head. And the next one 9 times 16 essentially which is going to come out to be minus 144x and in the last case this is going to give me uh, well half of 36 which is 18x squared maybe no calculator needed and that's it for part A then we're given some extra information we're told that f of x is equal to a plus bx lots of this binomial expansion and we're also given the first two terms of this expansion in ascending powers of x are 128 and 36x we want to find the values of a and b right so this is a continuation so for part b I'm going to be using my answer for part a because as I was told f of x is equal to a plus bx lots of that expansion now that expansion I know is 512 minus 144x plus 18x squared and what do I know f of x is equal to? Well I don't really know what f of x is equal to I know the first two terms of that are where were they? 128 and 36 so we've got 128 plus 36x plus some other bits is equal to now I'm going to expand this and I'm going to do this on two lines. I'm going to write first of all the expansion by a. So that's going to be 512a minus 144 lots of ax plus 18ax squared. Now on a separate line underneath I'm going to write down the expansion by b which is going to be um, 512bx and minus 144bx squared. So here I've just kept my my constant terms together, my linear terms together, my quadratic terms together and so on down the line. So I could indicate that this continues and so on and so forth. Now actually I'm only interested in comparing the coefficients for the first two terms so actually what I've got in the end here is not required and what I'm going to do is for part B, I believe we're trying to find out the value of A, yep, so for part B I want to find 128 which I know is going to be the same as 512 times by A, so I can divide through by 512 and find out that that becomes a quarter is equal to the value of A. 
Now I can immediately move on to part C, which was to work out the value of B. Now to do that I'm going to compare the coefficients of X. So that was what I had here with what I've got here and what I've got here, being very careful to preserve the negative. So I know that 36 is going to be the same as 512B minus 144A. Well, I've just worked out that A is a quarter, so this is 36 is equal to 512B minus a quarter of 144, which is 36. Uh, rearranging that, I get 72 is equal to 512B, and dividing and simplifying, I end up here with 9 over 64 is equal to B. So there's my B value, there's my A value. Happy days.